Hey guys, this is Rachel from Cypress Textiles, and today we're going to be making the Orionis Hexagon from the 2022 VV Cal. So I'm going to start by uh, making a slip knot and chaining three, and then making slip stitch into the third chain from the hook to make a ring. And then straight into the ring, I'm just going to make six single crochet. So I'm just going to start straight into the uh, ring with no chaining up six single crochet all right so here's my tiny round one and i got ahead and made slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round to join it and then in the next stitch i'm going to start with a beginning 2tr cluster so i'm going to go straight into making a single crochet in the next stitch and then chain two and then make a treble crochet and that's going to be the first two treble cluster of the round. Then I'm gonna make chain two, and then into the same stitch, uh, two treble cluster. So I've yarned over twice, insert your hook and draw up a loop, draw the yarn through two loops twice, and repeat that again. And then I've got three loops on the hook, and just draw the yarn through all three loops to close the two treble cluster, chain two, Again, in the same stitch, another two treble cluster. And then chain two, and again, in the exact same stitch, another two treble cluster. And I'll show you how that looks in just a second. And then we're gonna chain two. Okay, so just so you can see what we've got here, all in this same stitch, We've basically got two uh, two treble clusters, four of them, and chain two in between, and then a chain two afterward. And we're gonna skip one single crochet here and then just make two treble cluster in the next stitch. Chain two. And you're going to do that four times all in the same stitch so that you end up again with the four two treble clusters with chain two spaces in between and then chain two after. Okay, and you can fit all four two treble clusters in the same stitch. All right, and chain two. So here's how that looks. All right, and then I'm gonna skip another single crochet and do the exact same thing in the next stitch. Okay, so here's my round two when it's finished, and I just need to join my round. So I'm gonna join in this first 2DC cluster here by going into the first full treble and picking up these two front bars there and that's where I'm going to make my slip stitch to join. All right so that's round two and for round three we're going to go straight into this chain space here with a beginning 2DC cluster so just make single crochet chain one and double crochet and that's your first 2DC cluster of the round. Chain two, 2DC cluster in the same chain space and you're gonna do that two more times in the same chain space. Chain two, two DC cluster, chain two, two DC cluster. If you can. Okay. And now we've got four 2DC clusters in that same chain space with chain two in between. And I'm not gonna make a chain two now, I'm just gonna go straight into the next chain space with a single crochet. And then I'm um, just gonna make four 2DC clusters with chain two in between in the next chain space. Okay, 2DC cluster, chain two. Three times in the same chain space 
and then a 2DC cluster in the same chain space. Okay, and then once that's done, just go into the next chain space with a single crochet. And that's how your repeat's going to be all the way around. So you'll have six of these little petals. All right, so my round is finished and I'm ready to join. So I'm gonna go into the first 2DC cluster by going into the first full DC with these two front bars, just like we did for the previous round. And that's where I'm gonna make my slip stitch. All right, so for the next round, I'm going to start by making a slip stitch in the first chain. And then I'm going to make a single crochet in the same chain space, chain two. And then we're gonna work into this next chain space with a 3DC popcorn. So just make three double crochet and then remove the loop from the hook, insert the hook front to back through the first double crochet and grab your loop, pull it through to the front to close the popcorn. Chain two, make another 3DC popcorn in the same chain space. All right, and then chain two and find your next chain space and make single crochet. Okay, so you have your little corner with your two 3DC popcorns made. Now we're going to chain four. Okay, and then skip all of this middle part here and then just go into the next chain space with a single crochet. And now we're into our repeat, so we'll chain two, 3DC popcorn, chain two, 3DC popcorn in the same chain space. And I'll back up to show you how everything looks in just a minute. Now chain two and go into the next chain space with single crochet. All right, so this is how your repeat is going to look all the way around so that you have six little corners with these two 3DC popcorns and then make sure that you have chain four going across this area. All right, so here is the round complete and I did go ahead and join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round and I only have two more rounds to go. So we're gonna make a half double crochet round. So first we're gonna make a beginning half double crochet which is just single crochet chain one, just like if it was a beginning double crochet. Um, and then we're gonna make a half double crochet in the same chain space. All right, so in this first chain space, we've got a beginning half double and then a half double. And then right into the next chain space, we're gonna make our corner with half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Okay, and then in the next chain space, two half double crochet. In our next chain space, five half double crochet, because remember this is our chain four space. Okay, and then the next chain space again, two half double crochet. And we're in our corner again, half double, chain two, half double. And we're well into our repeat now two half doubles in the next chain space and five half doubles in the next chain space. All right, and that's how we're gonna go all the way around. So you're, you can see that it's uh, really starting to look like a nice hexagon now. And I will finish the round and show you how it looks when it's done. Okay, so now my round is finished and I'm just gonna join with a slip stitch in the chain of the beginning half double crochet. All right, and then now I'm ready to start my next round, which is just a single crochet round. So very simply, we're just gonna make single crochet in every stitch around and then make sure you put three in the corner chain space. All right, and whenever you start with the um, half double crochet, the first one of the next side, just make sure that you go into the top of that half double crochet. And you might just wanna make sure that you have 84 single crochet when you're finished, just because sometimes half double crochet can hide 
in the corners and so you just want to make sure that you've got all the stitches um, so just count up 84 single crochet and it's 14 per side all right so just put single crochet in every stitch and then three in the corner chain space and I'll show you how it's looking so far and then I'll show you how it looks when it's done all right now that is the end of the Orianas uh, Orionis motif from the 2022 BB Cow, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see y'all on the next one. Bye, guys!